What's up everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with Darium's Competitive Pokemon. Off to a League Cup today. Just got here at Control Alt Elite Gaming here in Sheffield, Ohio. Beautiful day uh, to play Pikachu Magnezone. Um, giving this deck a shot at the League Cup today. Just I've uh, been tested it quite a bit. I think it's fun at the very least and should give us something e interesting to vlog about. At the very least, got back-to-back -back League Cups this weekend. Got a bunch of people staying in my apartment. Uh, just gonna, you know, have some fun. First couple of League Cups of the season. I'm not too stressed, not too worried. Just gonna try some things out, try to have a good time. So, I'm uh, gonna show off my deck list here in a minute. Uh, thank you all for checking it out. Wish me luck. Let's see how we do with the first League Cup here at Control Elite. Peace. What's up, everybody? Here we are. Oh, there we are, right yep, here. We're at the League Cup. Filling out deck lists. Oh, don't show them my doing list. Doing things like that. Um, hello. Sleeving. Doing things like that. Yep. Out here. Being secretive and stuff. Like that. Yeah, Chris, so secretive. Everybody yep. needs to know Chris DeRoche is playing. Sorry, Chris DeRoche is already playing. Look how good Adivan's muscles look in that tank top. Oh my gosh. So look much, how good my muscles look. So much protein in that man. <laughs> Alright, anyone that's been to an Ohio League Cup knows about the Carl Scramble here. He's uh, just decided on his deck list, you know, registration has been on here for a long time. Carl just now deciding what he wants to play. I want to have group of hills. Alright, what's up? So Team Taste representing today gave me a sweet mat to play with, so that's pretty dope. I'm going to be playing with that. There are a ton of people here. Oh my god, this is a, probably the biggest cup that I have seen in quite some time. So many heads. I've heard there's like almost a hundred people here, so that's pretty 83 crazy. Masters. 83 masters. 83 masters! Uh, just finished round two. Kirsten and I are both 2-0. Yep, pretty excited. I just played against played against Gardevoir GX, uh, my friend Jeff from Team Taste, and it was crazy. I did not, I was not able to get Magnezone into play at all. Not even one time. I just went in with a Raikou, and like Raikou took like four prizes by himself, and he kept goosmeing out my Magnemites. He knocked out all my Magnemites, so I like wasn't getting uh, Magnezone into play. And then finally I rescue stretcher one back to my bench, and uh, I took like a big knockout with Magne uh, with Raikou, and he goosemed around my Raikou to kill the Pikachu EX on my bench, and then I tapped Coco GX for game. It was crazy. All manual attachments though. I was giving Kevin a hard time because Kevin told me that I don't need Magneton or Skyla in my list, which is absurd, okay? It's actually very hard to get Magnezone into play without those cards, so, uh, you know, a little bit sketchy, but we got there. Kirsten's 2-0-2, though. Tell him about your last game. I 6 0 a Glycepod. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He didn't draw anything. Choice Band's really good. She's pretty much playing the same list that we posted on the channel a couple days ago, except she took out the third field blower for... The Coco promo. For the Coco promo. So she is playing the Coco promo. How's that been so far? It's nice. It's really nice. Yeah, pretty good. So uh, that's where we're at right now. So we'll talk back later. So I just finished my fourth round and I'm 4-0, super excited. I just beat Galispod Garbodor. I beat two Garbodor decks today uh, with no field blower. So it's been a little bit sketchy. Almost every round has been sketchy. Uh, the round previous, I was able to beat a Turtonator deck, a uh, Turtonator Volcanion deck. So 4-0, just beat Galispod Garb. It was totally nuts. So I went first, I was very lucky. And my opponent got a bunch of, of uh, Wimpods out and a Trubbish on the first turn. And I got a turn two uh, Thunderlance. I I got turn two, Magnezone, and five energy on play. I uh, got turn two, Thunderlands to knock out a Wimpod. And my on my bench, I had turn one, I bridged it for the Coco GX. Now, that might seem like a little bit of a weird play. Like, why would I set up the Coco GX? I can't use the Arrow Trail or anything like that. But my thought process was that if I do go off on turn two, and I'm able to get some energy on play, I'm not going to want any energy on a Pikachu EX or something that can't keep its energy, right? So I wanted to like load up on something that can keep its energy like Raikou and Coco GX. So I went Raikou Coco GX as my strategy because Coco GX does 130 damage.
damage, which is perfect numbers to knock out a Garbodor. So I was thinking, like, maybe my opponent will get a quick Garbodor, and then hopefully I can Guzma it out. Uh, but uh, I went I went first, just, like, got a very aggressive start, and my opponent sycamore on the second turn. Got a turn two Garbodor, Garbotoxin, so locked me up but was not able to draw any other energy or attackers. So I was just able to continue mowing through uh, his attackers and I Clement, I used Clement, got four energy and just started manually attaching to my Raikou. Uh, he eventually drew into an energy to knock out Raikou with a Galissapod, but by then I had Guzma for game on his Garbodor. So uh, good matches, uh, super excited. I just need to win one more. If I win my next one, then I can ID both rounds into top eight so super excited uh things are going pretty well still want that magneton uh things are sketchy but kevin tells me that i can't complain yet because i haven't lost apparently so uh that's that uh, i'll check back in in a few what's up so i just savaged my last round didn't really deserve to win it but squeaked it out so i'm 5-0 yep yep versus this guy right here <laughs> uh, it was very close squeaked it out with a lele with like 10 energy on it it was crazy. So, uh, squeak that one out. Now I'm paired versus Otto. Uh, my deck box is gone. Otto is looking for his deck box, but Otto is playing this crazy Rayquaza Sogaleo deck. Uh, really interested to see it. I'm going to see if he'll show it off to you guys a little bit, tell you what it's about. Uh, just so we can, you know, get some perspective right. of what's going on here uh, at the top tables, because I'm at table number one. It's the sixth round. Uh, we're both 5-0. Otto's a good friend of mine uh, from the local area. So we're both 5-0. Uh, we're looking to ID this round, so we'll be 5-0 and 1. And then we might just play our last round out, because after we draw this round, then we're guaranteed to make top eight. So pretty exciting. First League Cup of the season. Uh... All right, it's getting late, but we're still out there with PikaZone right now. Just won my top eight match against Metagross. Uh, pretty good, went 2-0. It was close though, a couple of close games coming down to a lot of, a lot of coming down to like Abyssal Hand, Octillery Draws. Do I get the energy I need to knock out a Metagross? Or if I whiff and I only have like four energy on a Pikachu that's active or something, that could be like a game losing situation. So some pretty close games where we both start off with Vulpix and kind of just end a lot until one person gets, you know, gets going uh, first. And it's actually this weird kind of standoff that's developing in standard format where you just like end and beacon and end and beacon until somebody eventually gets a strong Guzma play or something like that. Uh, so uh, a lot of that going on, was able to win though. Uh, my opponent played in a Lonelin Ninetales, the one that's not the GX, the one with the barrier, I guess to try and help his Volcanian matchup. So. Uh, that, you know, he, he played it a couple times, but it didn't really come into effect. Got a lot of non X attackers in my deck, so, um, but yeah, good games. On to top four. I'm either going to be playing against Metagross or Galissapod Garbodor. I'd rather play against the Metagross, but I know for a fact that the Metagross is my good friend Krista Roger, who's a very good player, and, sh and, uh, just two owed me in some practice games. So, uh, the dream could be dead here, but we're going to keep it, uh, keep it rolling here. I mean... Top four with Pika Zone, pretty much a rogue deck that, you know, uh, hasn't really done anything ever. Uh, can't be disappointed with that. So uh, I'll let you guys know how I do. All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, me and Kevin Baxter here. He's gonna be helping me out with my deck list. So we just got back from the League Cup where I was able to finish in the top four. Pretty sweet. Lost to Galissapod Garb in the end. Gonna show you all the list with Kevin's help that I played at the tournament. First of all, we start out with two copies of Pikachu EX. He's got that overspark attack, 50 damage times the amount of lightning energy you discard from him. Did some big heavy lifting today, knocking out Pokemon like Metagross, 250 damage, no problem. All right, the support. We play three Magnemite and three Magnezone. You might notice that there is no uh, Magneton in there. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. You don't so need it. He says you don't need it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I guess not. I went. I did go 502. So, uh, let's see. We do play two copies of Remoraid, two copies of Octillery, essential to the draw engine for this deck. You need to continue to draw throughout the game in order to power up that Pikachu's Overspark attack, very costly attack. We play two copies of Tapu Lele, 
and thing. one copy of Vulpix to help set up too. Uh, it's actually really easy to get that Vulpix into play, especially with those free retreat on the Magnemites that I showed off. We also play one copy of Raikou, one copy of Tapu Koko GX, one copy of Mew, and that wraps up the Pokemon. Uh, Mew is sweet because it can use that, uh, what is it, Memories of Dawn ability to copy all of your Pokemon, all of your basic Pokemon's attacks. So Mew can copy Overspark, it can copy Tapu Koko GX, it can copy Raikou. One copy of Raikou is really all you need as well since Raikou uh, is more or less irrelevant. You want to be one-shotting things with uh, either Pikachu EX or Tapu Koko GX's Tapu Thunder GX attack, which is really good for knocking out Pokemon in Volcanion decks and in Gardevoir decks as they tend to load up a lot of energy. As for the supporters, we do play four copies of Professor Sycamore, four copies of N, two copies of Fisherman to get those energies back from the discard pile, and one copy of Clemence. That's right, dust those off or go find them if you can. It's from Generations. We do play two copies of Guzma as well as two copies of Bridget. I love two copies of Bridget in most setup decks now. Uh, just getting the, dip, the turn one Bridget is absolutely fantastic. And then when you don't have to use Tapu Lele in order to pull off the turn one Bridget, uh, it just makes your setup much, much better because you don't you can save your Leles for later. Uh, you don't have to use a bench spot on the Lele. It's just really fantastic. Clement in here has been very useful as well. Could just you know pull off a big supercharged turn. Once you get that Magnazone into play, you can Clement, grab four energy, Energy, you know, attach them to Pikachu, do 200 damage, attach, attach them to Raikou. Maybe if you already have two energy on a Raikou, you could do 170. A lot of cool tricks. Uh, sometimes I wish I had a third Guzma in here, but to be honest, this deck is not really a Guzma kind of deck. A lot of times you're going to be using Fisherman to power up your attacks, and you can't Fisherman and Guzma in the same turn. So uh, Guzma, two Guzma has been perfectly fine, though I do think, you know, maybe a third would be valuable. Not quite yet, though. Moving on to the items, we do play four copies of Ultra Ball, obviously best item in the game right now. Play four copies of Energy Retrieval, super great. Kevin made that suggestion. I was playing three, but the fourth just really helps streamline that energy attachments, you know, for every turn. Play four copies of Rare Candy, obviously to get our Magnazone into play. Two copies of Choice Band. Kevin helps me, uh, you know, kind of see the light on Choice Band, just helping out that Gardevoir matchup as well because you only need four energy out of Pikachu with the Choice Band to knock out a Gardevoir. Also, they only need four energy in play for Tapu Koko GX to be able to knock out a Gardevoir, uh, you know, uh, with the GX attack. One copy of Rescue Stretcher, nice for just getting your, your attackers back. We play a lot of very thin attacker lines, so the Rescue Stretcher does pull a lot of weight, gets you that third Pikachu EX when you need it. As for the energy, we do play 12 big ones, 12 Lightning Energy. Uh, you know, we need to play a high energy count in this deck because it's just such an expensive energy cost. I mean, each time you're going to be using Overspark with Pikachu, you're discarding probably four, if not five, Lightning Energy. And, you know, with Fisherman and all that, you end up burning through an awful lot. So 12 is a magic number. Thank you, Kevin, for your help with that. That is the Magnezo deck list. Uh, maybe you want to add a Magneton in there, maybe a couple Field Don't Blowers, do Don't but do uh, not totally necessary. All right, thank you all for checking it out. Uh, I'm going to go to another League Cup tomorrow. Peace.